Hi friends! Today is going to be my October TBR. As in years past, I'm going to do the crazy thing and try to read 31 books in October. Am I going to read 31 books in October? No. Is it going to be fun to try? Absolutely. I'm calling this my 31 books of October. I have quite a few books that are actually on my physical TBR that I want to get to and then if I run out of audiobooks or run out of books completely then I can switch over to the books that I don't physically own but we're gonna go through the whole list of 31 because I have nothing better to do with my life than to torture you with books that I want to read. The first of which is the sequel to Hocus Pocus. So this has Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel. A few years ago I read the Hocus Pocus part and now I want to read part two which is called Now. I don't know what's happening in present day but there's something happening in present day and I want to read it. And then I have all of these. I still have 10 of these to read. I have The Spellbound, The Calling, Changeling, Strife, Seeker, Origins, Eclipse, Reckoning, Full Circle, and Night Child. These are the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan. I have a whole bunch of them to read and they're all physical. Um, as you can tell these are like bind ups and there's like three in each of these so they're like 150-ish pages for each one. Less than 200 pages per all of these. If you don't know what this series is about it follows a young witch. I believe her name is Morgan. I could be wrong. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I read the first five books but she learns that she is adopted and a witch and she is like in with this crowd. I know there's a love triangle. There's some things that are happening. She's learning new magic skills. There's like covens galore. Like purely 2005 YA witches which I'm here for. I have two of my Sarah Normal books. I have Giving Up the Ghost and Moment of Truth. Uh, these are YA paranormal books that follow Sarah who can see ghosts and I think these are books five and six so I've read the first four of the series and I've really enjoyed them and I have these two left out of what I own so I would like to read these as well. I'm gonna have Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I've seen the movie and I own the book. It follows Abraham Lincoln as a vampire hunter and so naturally I want to read it. A Wicked Magic by Sasha Lawrence. I bought this a couple months ago. It's purple. It's got like a creature on the front that I keep mistaking for a cat but I'm pretty sure it's not a cat. Uh, it's about a group of friends who perform some kind of a ritual to make themselves into witches or to give themselves magic and they inadvertently unleash a beast that then kills one of their friends. Set in the atmospheric wilds of California's northern coast, Sasha Lawrence's eerie debut novel is about the complications of friendship, taking back power, and embracing the darkness that lurks within us all. So absolutely must read this. We have The Ivies by Alexa Dunn. This is a fellow author tuber who I will link down below. Not that you would not be following her if you're following me, but hey, who knows? Not me. Um, I know this is set in like a high school and the things that people will do to get into a prestigious college. The Project by Courtney Summers. This is a cult book uh, that follows a girl trying to save her sister from a cult and I think it goes sideways. And then A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This is the Alcrate version. Not sure that I love this cover more than the black one but you know we're just living with it. Like can we talk about that gorgeousness though? This book is like a dark academia set in a high school at a college. I have no idea what this is to be completely honest with you. I've just been told that it's dark academia and it was by a trans author that I wanted to support so ta-da. And then I will quickly go over the other books that I have like on different types of uh, like Audible and Scribd and all that. There are a couple that are books for um, group books. So The Haunting of Ashburn House and House of Leaves maybe are books for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's Patreon book club. I didn't actually write House of Leaves on here because no part of my brain thinks that I'll actually get to that at any point but I may like do some deep dives on some discussion boards maybe. I have a couple of arcs. The Hawthorne School I think has to do with a mother and her son going to this new school. I, I don't remember but I do have a video up where I talk about all the arcs that I have and I did talk about that one in there. Um, that and Lighthouse Witches which is about a dual timeline where 
a girl goes to a lighthouse with her mother and her two sisters and her mother and two sisters disappear and then it's set like 20 years later and she goes back and she finds one of her sisters but her sister's the same age as she was when she disappeared. Not creepy at all. Uh, Survive the Night by Riley Sager. We all know what that's about. Uh, Spirit Hunters. Everyone's telling me to read Spirit Hunters. It's a mid-grade. You know I love mid-grade spooky. Must get to. The Girls Are Never Gone by Sarah Glenn Marsh. Sarah Glenn Marsh wrote one of my favorite duologies, which is right there. And then The Family Plot by Megan Collins, who wrote The Winter Sisters, which I also really enjoyed. The Dead in the Dark. Don't know a lot about that one, but sounded good. Uh, Rules for Vanishing. Uh, Julie at Pages and Pens told me I should check that one out last year, and I haven't got to it yet, so I own it on Libra FM, and I want to read it, so that. The Woods Are Always Watching, which I believe is the Stephanie Perkins. Want to read that. Um, Witch Rising, which is the follow-up to Bewitched, which I read earlier this year that I want to get to. Uh, Harold Lake. Don't know much about that one, but I know it's like a spooky book. And also Edie in Between, which I don't know much about, but it's like a spooky book and the cover is like a tarot card, so like have to read. Yeah, those are all the things. So those are the 31 books that I'm going to try to read in October. Let me know in the comments below if you're try doing any challenges or anything in October. I decided not to do any read-alongs or read-a-thons or anything like that because I knew like I was tackling enough just with this and I didn't want to have to like change what I was reading based off of those things. So um, let me know if you're partaking in anything. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!